So, Jason, where you where are you coming out of again? You're coming out of Ohio. No, I'm in Lafayette, Indiana, actually. Indiana. Indiana. All oh, right. The great state of Indiana. I was way off. Not that far off. I was kind of It's off. not that far off. Okay, cool. So, yeah, so you have a really cool background. We're on video today, once again. Uh, for our audio listeners, you can find this on YouTube. And if you've never seen our show before, check it out. Uh, welcome to the Pitch and Movie Podcast. My mm-hmm. name is Peter Bune. I'm Sean King. I'm Will Pintard. And today, we have a very special guest Skyping in. From not Ohio, filmmaker Jason Zink. What's up, Jason? How goes it, everybody? Hey. Thanks for coming, man. Thanks for being on the show. Thanks for joining us. Filmmaker. Via Skype in our in Mr. Hollywood Towers. That's right. You are watching and listening now. <clears throat> we're in the basement of Hollywood mm-hmm. Towers in New York City. I know it looks like we're in a cool studio, but Mr. Hollywood's uh, lackeys just kind of draped these curtains behind us, but... There are there is crap and like rats and shit yeah, behind there's, us. There's shit covered walls behind us. You really got to use your curtains. imagination for it now. Yeah, but he didn't want people to see that on YouTube, so there's just a black curtain around here. But um, yeah, here we are. Here we are. Yeah. <coughs> so Jason, you're a film indie film director, uh, writer, producer as well. Yes. Tell us, tell us all yes, about that stuff. I am a, a jack of all trades in the worst way. Uh, it drives, drives me nuts most of the time and my friends tell me I need to take a break, but yeah, I, I wear pretty much all the hats, um, until we get on set. And then once we're on set, I have a big team. Okay. You're not wearing a hat right now. I am not wearing a hat. Just to give our audio listeners a visual. He is hatless. Uh, you put your uh, your <laughs> brainstorming hat on. For oh him. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, but it's basically like a lot of indie, indie guys who, uh, have to kind of, uh, you know, pull the team together and kind of take the lead. Is that that would be you, I guess, right? Not yeah, not, and- not that other people don't help, but it's, it usually takes one crazy person to say, "Look, we're doing this." And yeah, to, kind of- to just like will the fucking thing into existence. Yes, you know? and that's oh, the I hardest can- thing to do. That's like what a lot of people are afraid to do. I can cuss, right? Yeah, absolutely, yeah, absolutely, man. Please don't okay. fucking say a bad he said word. That shit. And I was like, <laughs> I, I kind of swear like a sailor, but I'm gonna try to tone it down at least a little bit. But uh, be yourself. But yeah, like yesterday, um, I was, you can't see what I'm pointing at, but right outside my front door, we actually spent all night, even into the dark, um, setting up a trampoline for a stunt fall that we're doing and back filling it with foam. So it's like we're doing all the grunt work and like set decoration and wardrobe and all this shit that I really don't want to do. But at the same time, like if I don't do it, then it's not going to get done. Yeah, right. Yeah. Wait, a trampoline is is that a good thing for somebody to fall into? I would. Assume, it's better than the ground, you know. That's <laughs> yeah, what but I'm they told. would just yeah. they would just bounce back from where they <laughs> fell from. Well, what I did is I, I I thought about all these things, and so I got a 13 by 13 foot trampoline, mm-hmm. and it's got one of those like enclosed, you know, it's got the the netting around it. Oh, right, yeah. And then I got a thousand pieces off eBay. You can find anything on eBay. Uh, a thousand pieces of foam for a foam pit. Oh, okay, okay. So when she does the fall, and I'm going to test it before her, and I'm definitely heavier than her. Um, but when she falls, you know, it's going to take a lot of the the foam will kind of absorb the bounce. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. It's, cool. And it's, and it's like a six foot drop anyway. You could probably do it without the trampoline, but I don't want to kill anybody. So can yeah. you? Um, I know you're in the process of filming. I don't know if it's a secret project, but uh, what what is the scene where this this girl is falling from uh, from many heights? I don't know. Uh, I can't speak. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of heights. Lots of heights. Uh, so our uh, our main actress, she is um, hanging out of a window, not literally hanging, but just holding on to it. And there's like this uh, this kind of small roof on the porch, and she's trying to get down there. But as she's trying to get down there, some of the masked uh, straight edgers come in and start to attack her and our main guy. And so they're fighting for their lives, and when she gets her arm cut, she falls. And kind of picture, like, I'm sure you've all seen the movie Scream, how Nev Campbell falls off onto that boat. That's kind of what we're what we're doing. And this is for a picture called Straight Edge Kegger. Is that correct? Kegger Party, right? It is. That all is right. correct. Cool, because we saw the uh, the little trailer, and it was tons of fun. We saw the, the fundraising trailer, is it? Yeah. like uh, yeah. Yeah, the, the mock trailer. Yeah. Um, because when we made it, we literally just made it as a standalone trailer. We just, I just really fell in love with the idea, and so we kind of thought we'd stake our claim 
Um, and I knew I wasn't ready to shoot a feature, so we did that. But it just kind of snowballed from there. Like, the trailer kind of proved to me that I liked the idea enough to keep rolling with it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so that built. And, and we we put that on the Hard Times. You guys know what that is, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, we Big fan of the funny. Hard Times website. Great website, oh, yeah. Hard Times. My roommate's walking in right now. Hey, Hi, roommate. roommate. What's up, roommate? What's going on? You want to join us? Um <laughs> Now I'm throwing off. Uh, yeah, hard times. hard times. That's a good. That's hard a good. Times. That's a good hard break, times. right? I mean, that's that's pretty cool that they they kind of took it and featured yeah, it. Yeah, right? shit. Yeah, and when they put it up, um, in like the first week, it had like forty thousand views, and so we thought um, that it just had enough traction that we would. We had this stupid idea that we'd be able to do a crowdfunding campaign, and because we had never done that before, and that. If each one of those people gave one dollar, we get forty thousand dollars. Turns out that's not really how crowd. <laughs> <laughs> so, YouTube um, YouTube bucks does is does not exist. YouTube view yeah. view bucks. Yeah, that's what we found out. party in rural Indiana. Brad is breaking edge for the first time. But when somebody leaves the scene... can take them as they are. Or take them out entirely. Don't smoke. And you don't drink. Then you won't have to die. This is not just a minor threat. Straight edge kegger. From director Jason Zink, straight edge kegger. You'll leave this party dead drunk. Coming to Laserdisc this October. Yeah. Well, well, Jason, thanks so much for uh, Skyping in, man, because we really need your help today. Because okay. here's the scenario, okay? Here on the Pitch a Movie podcast, Pete, Will, and myself, we had a whole week to come up with a movie pitch, right? For our boss, Mr. Hollywood. He gives, he's, he gives, he gives us a great job come up, coming up with movie pitches every week. And, you know, sometimes they're hits and sometimes they're misses. But he gives us seven days to come up with a movie pitch. And, like, every week, we didn't do shit all week, right? We hesitated. Mm-hmm. Um, I know masturbated. I, I don't know what you guys did, but, I, yeah. I, this. I know. I, know. I waited for you to do everything. Just I fucking, think we blew it. We all, blew it. All of us were masturbating after the Lindsay Jennings episode. Well, yeah. I wasn't. Well, we were all doing it together in the same room, just yep. not looking at each other. I yeah. was looking at you. We just picked a corner. I said not to look at me when I'm drinking. I'm sorry. Was somebody... Was somebody in the middle alpine skiing? <laughs> you could do that. No, Daniel, we, weren't, you know we, weren't, we weren't that lucky this time. Our producer Daniel was. 
<laughs> but we had a whole week and we fucked around and now it's the last hour of the week and now we have to come up with a whole movie pitch from top to bottom from soup to nuts and to nuts. we got nothing right now so it's a good thing you're here to help us uh kind of brainstorm something man because we got to come up with something quick because we got to go talk to mr hollywood real soon and he's a real guy so yes he's it's a very guy. real person <laughs> and there's a real job we have and we take it very seriously yeah <laughs> at least one hour of the week yeah this one hour we take this we take this one hour a week seriously whereas we could have just been writing the whole time nah, fuck that no fuck that. And we don't we don't carry paper or pencils around. So and we, we never just... get reprimanded and we never get punished for doing you know, as long as we deliver right now, we're okay. And our budget keeps going up. Our it's... budget is it starts at eleven billion. And then it you know, kinda goes beyond that. It wavers. It depends on yeah, it depends on the ingredients, Jason. Like the you know, the stars, the the director, the writer, all the you know, the the kind of above the line people that we, we, we kind of involve in our pitch. That gets us the big budget. I think so, the uh, the last the last awesome punk rock movie I've seen recently was Green Room. Yeah, oh, that movie great. was great, fucking great movie. Yeah. And the director yeah. of Green Room now is directing season three of True Detective, which right. sounds like proper with Mahersha Ali. Um, mm-hmm. Those are awesome ing- ingredients for good TV viewing. Mm-hmm. So um, no Vince Vaughn, huh? No, no Vince no. Vaughn, no Colin Farrell. Isn't the show anthological though? <laughs> Isn't it supposed to be different people every time? A different case? Yeah. And yeah. So, yeah, Each that's season. cool. Yeah, sure. Ah, shit. I just broke that's off great. the arm of my BMO toy. I feel sad. <laughs> yeah, well, you should stop playing with things. Mm. Uh, so, so do we want to get political with our thing? Or, like, do we... Do I don't we know. There hasn't been a fun? cool skinhead movie in a long time. Mm. Yeah? Like yeah. Romper Stumper? Yeah, just like just like what if it was uh battling gangs? Like, there was, there was you know, bonehead neo-Nazis versus trads. Like something like maybe like Trads, outsiders that? would be like a trad, a trad skinhead. You know the non-greases and socials. Got, yeah, I don't know the breakdown of these skinheads. The, now. Pe- the skinheads that were like into ska and 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 checkerboard unity. And, oh, okay, okay. And yeah, stuff yeah, like, like that. the sharps. sharps Correct. The skinheads against racial prejudice. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. The good skinheads. Yeah, the guys that would hang around That's, with rude boys. Uh, this is England. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, this yeah. is England in the beginning, not when when uh you know yeah what's his face comes in and yeah. don't ruin the end. Yeah, yeah, don't spoil. You've never seen it? No. I, no oh, I, man, it's a great movie. This is England. You're it's talking. so good. This is England's a great I, skinhead I, I, movie. I think I tried to watch it, and I was bored, and I shut it off. You're boring. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, dude, you I are, need... You I are need, an old man. I need fucking, like... I need action. I need something really... I, I, the, the older no, I get, sound like, I'm just so impatient. You sound like Mr. Hollywood. I need I need action. I need I need sex. Constant stimulation. Oh. I need Lindsay Jennings I back need Lindsay in Jennings <laughs> doing, doing splits in the chair. No, no, I, I just need like fucking. I'm, I'm sorry. I just need action. I need fucking like you know. Well, we could make an action packed. But, but uh, then there's version the, of that. Then there's movies that you know kind of like set a tone and are interesting that start immediately and kind of can take their time. White chicks. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I like the idea of like a subcultural gang war, like uh, <laughs> class in you know what class in 1984, like meets uh, romper stomper. Something like wait, that. Wait, wait. So, so if you're talking gang war, what about a race war? Mm-hmm. I'm cool mm-hmm. with that. Yeah. Okay. Have we had a real race war movie? <laughs> Not really. Not yeah. Yeah. No. You but could do, you could do like a black exploitation flick. Oh, oh yeah, we haven't done oh, that. Oh, you mentioned like an old movie. Oh my! One of my favorite black exploitation films is The Black Gestapo. The Black Gestapo. Yeah. Okay. Movie's incredible. All right. I'm down with a new black exploitation. Can you fucking neo black? Can you give the breakdown oh. of what the Black Gestapo was? Well, basically, it's about a bunch of uh, it's about the Italian mob going into a uh, non gentrified area and causing havoc among the among the locals in, in in the town, and they happen to all be black people, and women are getting snatched up, and and, and then these these guys are just like, well, we're not going to take it anymore, and then they become the Black Gestapo, and mm-hmm. they start. Ooh, I like re- appropriating nazi imagery and they start wearing ss outfits and shit wow. it's pretty awesome it's like i miss i miss the time where we could watch a movie that had nazis in it and we weren't also oh my god you know uh, now, nazis you, here we go what yeah, well i mean hey i'm not <laughs> saying it has to be that but well, wait, <laughs> go ahead. you could you could like play on that and make it so it sort of like centers around these white people who know that like they're not racist and and they're they're down and they're cultural, so like maybe they are kind of like they're trying to get to these now like black militants who are like Malcolm X style, like by any means necessary. Like we're gonna fight back against the neo Nazis, mm-hmm. and then like 
these like good white people just have this belief like inherent like goodness excuse me sir so not like, for nothing just, there aren't good white people according to tumblr so <laughs> <laughs> i don't know what you're talking about i like this i mean can we do something where it's kind of a, a, a neighborhood under threat of some kind of chadwick boseman no, you were talking about Ma- Marshala. Oh, Mahershala. Mahershala. That guy fucking is awesome. And I mean, we could get Chadwick Boseman. Uh, Black Panther. Well, what if there was, like, the, what, what, if the, what if this group of, this community was trying to preserve their fucking culture? Because you see, you, especially in New York, and I, you know, you see it fucking all over. You see it in San Francisco. You see it in Chicago. You see this everywhere where fucking communities are just kind of right. wiped away white, you know? Gentrified. Yeah. Well, according, <laughs> according to Tumblr, white people have no culture, so you're right. <laughs> well, their culture is to fucking take over somebody else's. No, it know? isn't. Yeah. That is absolutely yeah. absurd. What are you saying? Irish people don't have culture? No, I mean, uh, white Americans, maybe. What the fuck okay. are you talking about? There's plenty of Whoa. culture in America. Hit a nerve with... No, America's a melting with pot. White, We're all different parts. Of this. White all... culture? There's mm. what, explain well, so the white there's no, culture. Uh, there's no what? There's no Irish culture. There's no Italian culture in the United States. Look at all the fucking accomplishments Italian Americans have made in the United States alone. Right, yeah, but, Sean, look but, at it. Jeez. <laughs> look, how Sean. Gonna, how are you going to say that each individual person who comes from a background doesn't have a But culture? what about a black culture, like a black neighborhood? What kind of culture is there? The, that's you know what in the end that's a completely different thing because of how black people were brought into America in the first place because there's black people and there's African people. Okay, okay, so, so a, an African American culture would be the culture that they created when they got here. When you're talking when about like here. when you're talking about people appropriating <coughs> culture, you're definitely talking about like all right, so black culture came up with with black American uh, culture comes up with hip hop. And then white people start doing hip hop yeah. and start appropriating that. Right. But is it really in the end? Because isn't the whole point to share culture? Culture should be like, shared. Yeah, like mix it and make it something for all of us. Yeah, I mean that's what the whole fucking skinhead movement was about in the first place. Was about Jamaican music coming to the shores of England and rude boys and and kids who were working class shaving their heads, getting down with the Jamaican skinheads that were in dance halls and stuff. Okay, that's so how that I mean, that's what the intentions were, but they yeah, actually yeah, something those, like, else. Yeah. There's always those like negative elements that are gonna that usually steal the press. Yeah, like most people don't even know that skinheads can be good. <laughs> that's <laughs> even true, though that yeah. was the original intent, you know. Well, it's it's mm. kind of like how the alt right they appropriated Macklemore's haircut. And they turned it into their own haircut. Now, poor Macklemore. And Macklemore <laughs> is a white nationalist. <laughs> Macklemore has to shave his head. According to Tumblr. <laughs> no, no. According to Tumblr. See, that's the thing. Is like you, can, you know what's what the hell is Ryan Lewis going to do? I remember, because I, I used to love trolling. I did it a lot like, in 2016. I, 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 I'm not going to like not admit that like, I wasn't one of those 4chan kids. Oh, no. Kids. Just, just go back to any episode <laughs> from the first year of our podcast, and <laughs> you could hear the trolling of Will Puntard. Yeah. Right. And then I got kind of like bored with it, but like I remember making up fake memes about like racist haircuts of the oh, all right, wait, and Macklemore's hair was on there. Will, <laughs> we're on video now. Oh shit! So you could un- you could show us the T-shirt you have under this flannel. No, it's all right. Ooh. Hey, check no, this no, out, Jason. No. Jason, <laughs> as our guest, please request that this happens. I want to see it. You want to so see this bad. shirt? There we go. And uh, now, now, just for no. our audio viewers, Will is Try taking to, his shirt off. Jason, now. interpret this shirt and and, and yeah. Let us what know do you what think you when think you see this? this sh- is. Yeah, let Jason see what do this and go right. Point it right to the cameras over yeah. there. Let's see what. It, and this is a small screen, so there you go. Yeah, yeah. What is that? What is that all about? Oh, that's so good. <laughs> that's so good. He made. He made. Oh, the wait, shirt wait, wait. You know, don't let's not explain it. If you want to see what shirt. Uh, Will is wearing. It's head on, on over sale at the Picture Movie Podcast store. <laughs> <laughs> head on over to our YouTube channel and see at this moment what Will is wearing. What shirt is Will wearing this week? Yeah, just to get entice our audio audio <laughs> listeners to head how, over to our YouTube channel. How well can you see me on video right now? Fairly, you, fairly we see, well. We see you're wearing a loser, well. Losers Club shirt. Right. Um, I'm about to blow everybody's mind a little bit. Go ahead. Go. So the, Donald the first Trump. Tattoo oh. that I ever got. <laughs> Ooh, scumfuck. Oh, all right. You're a talent tattoo? fan. All right. There you go. Nice. It's, it's actually <laughs> with a sharpened guitar string and pen ink. That's nice. awesome. Oh, holy shit. See, man. that's very punk rock. All right. So, G.G. Allen, we, we referenced him last week, and now we're doing it again this week. So, this is. Uh, Here we go. I yeah. have little baby devils on my leg. 
See, why don't we do a <laughs> biopic on Gigi Allen? Who who would play a good Gigi Allen? No one's done Whoa, like a. Oh, don't derive from I, where we were I going. Like, I like a black exploitation flick, like you know, Starring holding Gigi down the Allen. neighborhood. No, I, Gigi Allen. <laughs> well, I would love to see like um. <laughs> Johnny Depp as Gigi Allen no, would be our, hilarious. Oh, that would actually be awesome. No, I would love I, to see yeah. like um, our black heroes and leads listening to Gigi Allen. Hmm? Yeah? Yeah? Why not? I don't know. I mean, why not? <laughs> why not? If we're gonna go for black, if we're gonna go for black exploitation, I think we need some black people in the in the room to write to write this, wouldn't we? No, no, I'm no, kidding. Because... I'm not on Tumblr. I don't care. <laughs> I'm gonna keep making that La- joke. Larry Cohen made a number of uh, black exploitation flicks, and he's, and he's he's white as fuck. Yeah, and he's white. You know, so so the it, guy who wrote Hallelujah. That's no, that's fucking <laughs> you're an idiot. Larry that's Cohen. Leonard Cohen. <laughs> he did fucking. Uh, I'd like to bring Spike Jones in at some point. I think that's Spike what we Jones. Do. Yeah. <laughs> Spike wow. Jones directs a black exploitation action Jones. picture. <laughs> Is it because his name I, sounds I black? <laughs> Do you mean Spike Lee or Spike? <laughs> no, no, Spike no, Lee Asian. Spike Jones. Yeah, Spike Lee Asian. <laughs> Spike Lee would never go near a black exploitation <laughs> flick, would he? Would no, you, what, I, I would. I consider Do the Right Thing to be a fairly black exploitation movie. No. Yeah. How about Crooklyn? No, they're not exploitation movies. They're ex. They're, yeah, they, How no, about man? They're, I don't know, man. No. Social What's conscious. The one that was that's uh, what black exploitation was. It was about the. It, it was a. It was a. It was an empowerment movement. It was empowerment. So uh, what you're saying? Do the right things? Not an empowerment movement to the black community? No, it's yeah, but it's not an exploitive yeah. thing. It is it? absolutely an exploitation yeah, film. How about if you that look movie he did where everyone was in blackface? Bamboozled. Bamboozled. Yeah. That's pretty mm. Yeah, I think I don't know. I think that maybe, maybe that might approach um, it. But that I, was a, that well, was a, that was like a fucking uh, satire. Didn't you say like you wanted action? So what if what if it was like Red Dawn, but it's like Black oh. Dawn? That's what. Yeah, that's that's what black, I'm talking did you about. Just say like, Black Dawn. Yeah, Black fucking Dawn. Yeah, you there you go. Black that's Dawn. fucking <laughs> awesome. All right, so Black <laughs> Dawn's the title of the movie, and uh, yes. it, what, uh, what what's happening here is it's about a black neighborhood. That, that fucking is, Starbucks kind of comes in, and they got to fight back, <laughs> and they're fighting back against gentrification. Yeah, can we just say it's a it's a Russian coffee house that's taking over? Why? And, what is no? That? Because I've seen this happen. I've seen this, Red Dawn. I, I, no, just, it should just be generic white people with blonde hair, blue eyes, like wearing polo shirts. And, wasn't it and, Russians and Red Dawn? It was yeah, Russians, but Black and, Dawn and uh, the Cubans. Yeah, but it was more like the Cubans. And then the Chris Hemsworth one was China, right? Yeah, no, it was they turned, it was Korea first, and then they turned it into because um, they got China. scared. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But but like, that's awesome, Jason. That that's great um, because I, I like I saw this in San Francisco. I saw there's these there's these um, these Latino neighborhoods that are completely fucked now, and they spent years and years. There's generations of like these murals that they painted on the side of their sides of their buildings, and literally the fucking the the buildings got sold and completely painted the history of the fucking town yeah. off the murals gone forever is this true daniel daniel, daniel is from sad. san francisco it's it's yeah is, am i right or am i wrong with this you are right. yeah it's, daniel it's, says he's right it's fucked up to see because you know the, the, the people are getting fucking kicked out of these fucking these 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 buildings and they just got nowhere to fucking go because it's like now it's become the most expensive fucking place to live in the cunt one of the most expensive that's places happening to live in new in york country. right now as well Well, yeah it's i mean it's happening everywhere but like, I, I love yeah. the idea of somebody saying no you're not taking my fucking building oh that's cool you know and and you know suddenly you have they're fighting back yeah you have the developers coming in and you have like you know fucking people want to build stores and kind of raising the rent and they're just so, like fuck you and they, they got to take up guns and fucking fight back man so instead of fighting like another country, they're fighting gentrification. Yeah. What if it's they're fighting a, corporate, you know, America? What if it's a uh, all right? So it, what? What if it's a it's a lot in in Black in, 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 in a awesome. wait? What what if the story surrounds a, a, a certain lot in in a city area where where black in people are living and uh, all the, it's an empty lot? But this is where all the neighborhood kids come and play, and this mm-hmm. is where they come and keep things safe. There's a garden there, basketball, there's a McDowell's, ball, and you know, and McDowell's. <laughs> and, and all. Of a sudden, like you know, an ulcer corp kind of thing Aww. comes in, yeah, and they and they want to they want to build like a Matthew Bombers uh, high rise, oh, high rise building yeah. there right. for for wealthy like one of those stack aristocrat aristocratic people, yeah, to live in. one of those stack and what are those stack and stock buildings? What are the fucking where they have the mall underneath and everybody lives and they don't leave the building? Oh. Yeah, those things. 
Yeah, like, like the Al- like where the Alamo. Yeah, is. B- basically like one of those self-contained. Do people live in there. Buildings. Yeah. No way. Fr- yeah, they're um, uh, City Point in Brooklyn, um, where the Alamo Draft House is. There are condos above it, yeah. and so you could live there, and then you could go down and go to the Alamo Draft House, or you could go to like a Century Twenty One or Target or Starbucks. So or I would, there. I would genuinely never leave the it, building. It's, it's basically I wouldn't either. That's Century like Twenty One. <laughs> it, it, it's part of that theory of the. the I that, have a better idea for it's a movie. part of that Agenda Twenty One thing where they they're trying to kind of contain you contain people in buildings. Well, that's what Mussolini tried to do. Yeah. Did you know that he wanted to he wanted to collapse old Rome because he thought it was a failure. Because if it, if it wasn't a failure, it would still be there. Uh, and he wanted to build giant uh, apartment compl- uh, apartment buildings. And you see a lot of that stuff in uh, comic books and in the movies like Judge Dredd, where everyone lives in a mega yeah. city. Judge Dredd. Right, yes. So it's all contained because that's how fascism would work. You have to contain everything into one thing and run it and, and run it independently like a corporation. Mm-hmm. All right, let's put a pin on Black Dawn, but you said you had another Well, idea. I was going to say, it's like a lot of that's happening right now with dead malls around the country as well. I don't know if you have any by you. Um, but like that's a new that's a new thing. Uh, like abandoned malls? No, they're malls that are just dying, and they're trying to find different things that people could do in them. Like and Sears and Comac. Uh-oh, yeah. So yeah. what happens is people move into these dead malls, and they're and they're turning them into residential areas. But there always could be an Agenda Twenty One kind of thing. But this could still happen in a black neighborhood. Why don't we combine both ideas? Like they're forced into these abandoned fusion. Malls. Yeah. So because but now as they all group back into these dead malls they're meeting people from their old neighborhood Ooh. they start to group together and say we got to take back our neighborhoods how about how about this how about yeah they, they got the, the community is being priced out of their neighborhood yeah right? I, know, I know that feeling yeah so and they gotta like, live in a mega city in, well, that's a self-contained well yeah that, that's the thing so they so they move into the, their only option is to move into this dying mall Ooh. and now this now this mall becomes like a fucking fortress yeah, when they become and they have That's to stand their ground. Black so, Dawn. So it becomes oh, yeah. so it becomes like a fucking yeah, like a siege thing eventually. Oh, it's awesome. When they're all kind of like, you know, kind of corralled into this fucking, you know, this this stronghold. Yeah. But now now the the fucking developers need the mall now too. And they're like, "Fuck that. This is our place now and we're going to fucking die here if we That's have." That's what to. happened in Land of the Dead. Yeah, yeah that's, I was kinda. just thinking about that. Yeah, right, Fiddler's right. Green was the was that uh, a mall apartment complex that yes. all the wealthy people lived in. And you in. never had to leave. Yeah. What was it called? It had like green in it. Well, Fiddler's Green, that yeah. was the uh Fiddler's Right, right. <laughs> and, and Dennis Hopper was like the uh he was the, he was like the head aristocrat yeah, guy. Yeah, he, he chose who kind of can pay their way into it. Yeah, and um, but on the outskirts of that was just like the Badlands, I think, right? Like in the so if the yeah. mall parking lot was there, it would be like you know, that, that would be it would be, like, be like, a, like merchants and fucking, merchants yeah. and shit. That's right. kind of cool. What if what, what you know? What if we throw this maybe like thirty eight years into the supposed future, and it's like a nuclear war has happened, some sort of thing has happened where it's like here we go. Well, well, why well, does it have to be post <laughs> post apocalyptic? Post apocalyptic. Why can't it be like? Because this sounds like a very in two thousand twenty. Yeah, like, it just like, doesn't let's... happen that way. But I guess it's a movie, so it doesn't matter, no, then, no. right? Does it, Pete? Maybe we want to make it a little <laughs> bit more relatable that like yeah. something is actually happening. I don't know how we're going to make any of this relatable. We're not black. Well, but there uh, are black audiences, <laughs> you know? I mean, of well, course, okay, yeah, we're, so we're four white guys coming up or, you know, three white guys and I a could, Filipino dude coming he up. He may as well just be three white. Three white guys. <laughs> don't say that. So, four white guys, basically. Okay. <laughs> um, we could hire uh, a black director with a voice. John Singleton. Ryan Coogler. Oh, yeah. That's okay. Creed, cool. Fruitvale Fruit Station. Station is good enough for me. Yeah. Black Panther. Yeah. Yeah. He did those Creed, Creed, Creed music videos. <laughs> He's the one who got Scott Stapp spreading his arms wide open. Soundtrack by Scott Stapp. Yeah. There we go. This is good. Black audiences would love that. <laughs> um, Scott Stapp and Ice Cube so together dr- making Creed, music. Director of Creed. Um, this is no. This is fucking good, man. I think you know. And that Marshala. Is Mahershala, that Mahershala, yeah, that guy kicks ass. I'd love to see him in an action flick. And it's like it, it of course, like he, you know, he he got an Oscar nom or whatever. Did mm. he win an Oscar? He won. He won. He's got to go straight action now because that's what yeah. they do, right? He's got to go. He's got to go Nick Cage. Yeah, he's got to Nick. He's got to con air it. You know, he's got to get the award and then fucking do like a. You, you got to do leave, leaving Las Vegas and then you got to do face off. Right yeah, afterwards. exactly. Right. It fucking works. <laughs> Work for him. So yeah, Ryan Coogler's directing. 
Um, and we should get all like the best of the best out there now. Like Black Panther is doing that where they have all like not Michael B. Jordan. He, why do you hate him. Michael B. Jordan? I don't hate him. I just think he's. I you think know, we put him in a lot of things. He's too. hit or miss. Like he's great, and then he sucks. I think it's the movies that he's choosing. Mm. Yeah. So in this, he'd be great. In this, you he'd be so? great because Coogler's because directing. Because Creed's directing. Yeah. Right, but where's Will Smith going though? What's what's up? He's with him? staying he's in Bel Air. Will Smith is staying in Bel Air. Mm. He could stay in Bel Air. Okay, fine. But but what about but Jazz? Jayden? Jazz will be in this movie. I need I need Taraji P Hansen in there too. Cool. Do you see that? Like because I love her. That action movie that she's in. Well, the trailer. Uh, no, but she was in Smoke and Ace. Something and she Mary. Was fucking awesome in that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, she's doing that. She can do the action like, shit. Bloody Mary. Hill. Oh yeah. Yeah. She's like Atomic Blonde, but like, yes. But her. I love her. Yeah. Taraji P. Hansen. Yeah. Yeah. She's hilarious and great. So. Cool. But Keep this, it going. What's the story? This, What's this happening? Is, this is our. I think that you should open this story where, you know, the, like the neighborhood is fucking just riddled with these stores, and there's only a few blocks mm-hmm. where people are really kind of, you know, holding it down, and then eventually, and you then know, Forrest Whitaker is like. <laughs> <laughs> He's Ghost Dog. Forrest Whitaker's Ghost We're not Dog. Going anywhere. Ghost Dog makes a return in this movie to save the <laughs> oh neighborhood. Oh my god. No. no. Yes. I'm Can kidding. No. Dog? See the mayor? Like That could be our M Night Shyamalan twist is that Ghost Dog appears. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> At the end. It's actually a Ghost yeah. Dog Chronicle. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. It's actually a Ghost Dog sequel and you didn't know you were watching it the whole time. <laughs> That's cool. He Fuck just it. appears at the end, he's like Oh, I'm gonna get you in the next one with a fucking samurai sword. No, it's gonna yeah, it's slow motion samurai. No, these sword. kids are gonna be like, it's just like that time where that guy was running around with a samurai sword <laughs> in the city, and like he was like a vigilante, and then you hear Forrest Whitaker going, "His name was Ghost Dog," <laughs> <laughs> and then like credits, and you're like, "Holy shit, this was a Ghost Dog sequel." <laughs> Ghost Dog, yeah, that could work. Well, great, yeah. great. Now the movie's over, Pete. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, and the whole idea could be that this corporation wants to do this like all across the country and slowly yeah. like. Just, just separatist idea, you know. Yeah, and maybe this is like the first thing, or it's one of the last, and it's like this is the last stand or something. You know, you could do that. The movie's called yeah. Alt Fight. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That's that's terrible. That's, I know it's bad. That's why I said it. No, I, I think I think they it's called yeah. Control Alt Delete. I think I think they're they're definitely in the mall, and then they're going to be kicked out of the mall, and then they're like, "Fuck you! We're going to back to our neighborhood and take the neighborhood back." So they have to kind of they have to figure out how to kind of get you know weapons in and they got to start this uh, underground thing like like Red Dawn with the Wolverines just you know? like Red Dawn yeah. yeah they got to go in and steal guns and fucking steal the resources and shit okay right yeah mm-hmm. yeah all right I'm into that so, so then so, they, so they have a whole neighborhood of of people who are just you know on the the downtrodden people who are forced out of their homes and now those homes are being fixed up for for star wealthier are. St- Aristocratic people, yeah, um, and then those people who were forced to live in the mall, mm-hmm. and they get little to no resources, I guess. Yeah, yeah. They, everyone has to bathe in the fountain in the mall. Like that's like yes. that's when we see Lupita Nyong'o. Okay, From sure. <laughs> so, but that, bathing, bathing, mm-hmm. bathing in the eventually push the comes to shove. Yeah. From what I'm understanding, Slow push motion. comes to shove. Shove, and, and our main protagonist, who's like what the hero, I guess, is gonna be like, we gotta, we gotta unite <laughs> against this, and we have to go take our town back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fuck well, yeah, man. I don't know if Chadwick Boseman would do a role that wasn't a real person, because that's all he plays. He plays Jackie Robinson. He He's, played plays Black Panther though. So he played uh, James Brown. That's why you gotta get that Mara Shala. No, he's in it. Okay. All right. Yeah. Good. I think he should be the fucking hero. Mahershala Ali will be the Patrick Swayze of our of our. All right. So yeah. where do you think we should go with yeah. this? But you, you do need a Rob Lowe. You do need a C. Thomas Howell. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You do mm-hmm. need a Charlie Sheen. Was he was he in it? Charlie Sheen? I can't remember. He yeah. was one of the brothers. Yeah. All right. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Let's get on the rails. It matters. <laughs> Red Dawn fucking matters. <laughs> Not right now. Okay. So sorry. where are we going with this right Wolverine's now? Wolverine's live matter. No? Sorry. Well. Sorry. Okay. So they're so they got to take back their place, right? Yeah. So maybe you do it like um, like Fiddler's Green, where this new community with all the you know aristocratic yuppie white people um, that they are probably they're probably not the people that I brought up in the beginning that are actually like on the good side. They are like pure evil. Donald so maybe Sutherland. We, see, so maybe we can get on like the side of of a war taking place in that community, but we're on the side of the African-American community the whole time. 
Yeah. Or whatever or whatever our fiddler's green is. I guess it's basically probably more based on, you know, economic class than it probably is about race. But I'm actually I, more for the economic class thing because that's eventually going to just affect everybody because that's just like mm-hmm. how fascism works in the first well, place. Well, that's how you corporate. that's how we can make it mix cuz like it's you working know, now. It yeah. could be not it's not just African Americans but like poor people too who are mm-hmm. living who are pushed out of their neighborhoods. Can Norman Reedus be like a, like a poor painter? Yeah. Like a fucking penniless <laughs> painter? How have we never cast a Norman Reedus and, and, he, and he wouldn't have to like you wouldn't even have to give him hair or makeup or wardrobe he just he's shows just up and yeah. then you just fucking just like you're perfect just put a little paint on him and then boom. let's make it really confusing let's make Idris Elba the president of the corporation that's doing it Whoa. what Ooh. oh shit oh, okay. oh shit okay. throw that in your it's a way to even it out he's like a if sellout say, if, if, you know what I'm not gonna say what I'm gonna say cause never mind never mind that's fine dude okay. he would be a, he would be a scary very, corporate very down deep yeah, yeah, yeah. he dangy. would be a scary corporate kind he of would, you know, he's raider like, kind of guy. Because yeah. he looks like he's like just a... He like would have made no a better nonsense. wolf man as well instead of Benicio Del Toro. Hmm. I think he'd be a better everything. But yeah. You know. yeah, I really wanted him for the doctor. But, you know, maybe next time. He's too big for that now. No, he's not. Yeah, he's a I, fucking movie star. I think I just makes music in a basement most of the time. I saw Idris a, Elba? I, yeah, I saw a documentary about I love him. Iris Elbow makes me <laughs> <laughs> Iris Elbow. <laughs> really? <laughs> All right, so is everyone cool with that? Idris Elba as the leader of the corporation? Yeah, because sure. that's a total, like, I wouldn't see that coming. Sure. Right, okay. And Charlie Day could be his, like, assistant. His little bitch, <laughs> his little slave. <laughs> who, eventually, who eventually turns to help the, the, the citizens. No, no, of, sorry. Uh, I'm going to change that from Charlie Day to <laughs> Dennis. Glenn Howard. <laughs> Glenn Howard. No, 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 no. I, I really think you should go with. You should go with. Char- we should go with Charlie Day and like Idris Elba's like nickname could be like. Oh, that's Simeon. His little. Wait, weren't they friend. in Pacific Rim together? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, they're perfect together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're good together. Though. Is this should we change change it from Ryan Coogler to uh, Guillermo del Toro's Black Black Dawn? <laughs> no, right. And there's monsters. Ryan Coogler, don't do that to me, please. Don't. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's do it. Okay, I, I th- Ryan Coogler's Black Dawn. I think it's yeah. awesome, and I and I think that the, are we um, even really making a Black Dawn anymore though? Yes, it's not yeah. Really... Fuck yeah, man. Yes, this is great. That we're just I, laying down the foundation of a story, and I, I think that um, the uh, the developers, the evil developers Idris Elba and and his all and all of his fucking like you know funding and all his kind of investors uh-huh. they've hired this group of like ultra mercenaries to keep the element out right okay. like like real fucking yeah. asshole soldiers like really fucking like pricks. they should look like the plague from hobo with a shotgun whoa yeah they, they, they look like they're those kinda, fucking things yeah they're kind of evil and they, they thrill kill and they're just mean motherfuckers and they they're, drive they are... on crazy motorcycles <laughs> yeah you know, they are around the, the perimeter yeah <laughs> so eventually they're kind of like the fucking yeah. things that you they fight in uh in running man <laughs> gladiators <laughs> so so they 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 wow. called in like and the, the local police have been fucking like over militarized yeah. so basically our okay. heroes have to go in and steal run some by of these, Bruce Willis they have to steal <laughs> some of these vehicles and these fucking tanks and these guns and shit right and they gotta Mad Max their shit together pretty much and then yeah. take over the fucking and then, and then roll out of the fucking um, roll out of the the uh, mall when it's ready ready to be demoed they're fucking rolling out of it with the fucking uh, oh there's arsenal. a threat there's a threat of Idris Elba knocking down yeah. the mall they're well gonna, he's gonna, running gonna, out of space you yeah know? Oh, he's gotta expand shit. so their only option is to ride into the fucking uh, belly yeah. of the beast and then fucking infiltrate from the inside out well take how their, they I don't think they can inf- infiltrate they shouldn't they, they should just be like going full tilt like and fucking just taking down the neighborhood yeah pretty much if, yeah, no, yeah, if they yeah. can't have it then no one will that's, have that's it that's that if they can't have it no one can that's their tagline yeah there you go <sighs> black dawn but yeah, that's Put it in the pizza. I feel like there should be little scenes where um, they start out doing like guerrilla style, taking down like like the um, like little, construction, yeah, like, little terrorist like, acts, little terrorist acts, because they don't have yeah, a like lot of weapons. Posts. Yeah, 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 yeah. We will not stand for these terror terrorist uh, activities. So That's Idris, Idris. Elba, Idris Elba plays like a Donald Trump. <laughs> Trump, he's like a Trump. That's yeah. hilarious. <laughs> It just is doing like his American Trump yes. accent. No, he should be like it should be like a Donald Trump, but if he was British, but he still had that same annoying voice. You know, that's difficult. That's yeah. right. It's Idris Elba. He can handle it. Idris could handle it. All right, he can handle it. So what happens? You in will the not end? take down a dark tower. Yeah, what, <laughs> what happens in the end? I'm like, I've yeah. been thinking about that for the last ten minutes, and I'm yeah. still not there. Um, All right, so here, here's what I was thinking for like a good like. You got your beginning, you got your middle, which is the montage of them building everything, getting ready for war, pretty like, much. You know, yeah. and then, then and, go, and then then them them going into town, mm-hmm. and then but Idris Elba has to have like you know his army of corporate goons and yeah. stuff. So now it's like. 
a all out battle. I'm talking about gladiator fucking battle. Yeah, it's basically yeah. blood like in the Gangs streets. Of New York. Yeah, yeah it's, just it's, like that. It's Whoa, all out fucking war. that's awesome. And, that's and, and that's I, why the gang's called the Five Points because it's the Five Points Mall. Yes, I know. And, oh. I, and I think these 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 mercs, these these fucking corporate mercs, have like this kind of like new super gun or something. Maybe. Why do they call it merc? Isn't it merce? Mer- no, it's merc. I don't know. It's, it's merc. It's a merc with a mouth. <laughs> Deadpool's the merce with the mouth. All right, maybe they, maybe they have the spread gun from Contra, like some kind of oh, fucking awesome. Gun. Oh, they have crazy you know? technology. Yeah, like they have some kind of super gun, and they're like, "We're fucked." Oh, know? the dude, the dude from the um the IT crowd. He could be like the science. Iowa resi- day. Yeah, he could be the re- resident day. scientist in the Five Point Mall, and he's like making these crazy like fucking weapons that that uh, okay throw yeah. throw energy Richard, orbs at people Richard and disintegrate Iowata. people and we can do we can do like a fucking uh, like a rohan like a like a lord of the rings thing where there's another community yeah. and they're like you got to help us come here like no we can't like yeah. we until have the own, last moment. we have our own people until the last minute yeah yeah yeah, yeah. we like we well, have that's our own the five community points. The, the five points mall has <laughs> different uh, different uh, uh, race and ethnic, uh, yeah, ethnic right. classes yeah, in it, yeah, that's right, yeah, yeah. and that's where all the unwanted ones were in comparison to the 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 wealthy aristocratic people who live in the town now. So last minute they come I mean, that's, in with that's so, totally like the Walking Dead setup right now. Yes. It's like you have Negan's group; they're like the those are the developers, you know, and then you have all these little groups. <laughs> yeah. Right. So yeah, they're, so, so they're trying to get all the little so groups. The together. five points has to unite. <laughs> So it takes someone in the five points. But the to five points everybody. haven't been united in a hundred years. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, that's why this is post apocalyptic. <laughs> nice. You know? They finally get outside. <laughs> no, maybe that, maybe about, the reason why they're keeping everybody inside is like the wealthy people are like they control all the news and media inside the mall saying, Well, it's acid rain out again today <laughs> and someone's like, Wait a minute. <laughs> right. That's not true. And maybe we can have like a kid character who like who kind of is like you know, you know, Romanticizing the way things were, like when Let's everybody was Let's get that kid from Stranger together. Things. That's an it. What's oh, his name? Yeah, Lucas. He, oh, he's okay. he's popular. Let's put him in there for the quick bucks. Like the kid is always talking about the those quick pizza gate bucks that those... we're gonna get for the movie of oh, getting the kids no. in it. Because that's what happens with those communities when they're like that. When they're kind of un fucking you know unspoiled. Neighbors talk to each other. They fucking share each other's vegetables from their yard, and then suddenly, you know, you fucking wipe that all away. And then the new neighborhood is you walk out your front door. You don't even look at the person next to you. Yep. So this kid can like just like fantasize about when it was like that, mm-hmm. and then that's what kind of brings everybody together. That's, I, I live in them all though. I would do it. You get like some of the get down kids too. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Well, yeah. Whatever. What? So you you build <laughs> yeah, up all your main fine. characters that yeah, help. You have one ch- one kid in this I just, entire I just, mall. I just immediately thought of uh, the fucking uh, the, the Jaden Smith, and I was like, no. Jaden Smith's in this. No. Sorry, That's Sean. Fine. Okay, so <laughs> Jason's all right with it. Someone unites the whole, someone unites the five points it's, mall, it's and they all the start kid. working together. Yeah. And they come right. in with choppers and fucking just like you oh, know. No, they be, no. but they but they're making everything from the inside off based off Iwati's I- uh, oh his ma- his new technology Richard that, Ayahuasca yeah, I, yeah. yeah there you go <laughs> 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 and uh, and then they go and attack the neighborhood like they and but they win they gotta win you know yeah they have to win they, they gotta win gotta win so they they, yeah. they send Idris Elba like run into the hills oh no and, sequel uh, yeah and then he's like he's looking back from like. Uh, uh, an, another office building from a like, very, very strong oh, telescope. Yeah, and Can he's we... plotting his, his his revenge. Okay, or Can go we... go, Pete. Ow. My turn. What do I keep getting shocked by? Because you got a grounded. Because it's shocking. You got like a grounded um, fucking. What if we uh, have like wire? an uh, Independence Day ed- ending when they figure out how to take down the company? Hello, or... boys. Um, <laughs> no, 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 not that. It was like send the news when they like spread the word to the other like. Cause the, uh, oh right, right. To yeah, the yeah, other yeah, yeah, yeah. country in Independence Day, they send it to the other countries how to take down the aliens. Right, right, right. Why don't like they send like the little kid to be like tell them send the news and how to take down? What is it like? Uh, he's like a Paul Revere, like <laughs> yeah, to, to spread out how to take back your neighborhood. Mm-hmm. From so there's around. a bunch of malls around the country that are like this. yeah, yeah. Ah, it just yes. it just Elba's like uh, companies. He's got his hands in everything. Good old Globo Corp. Okay, so so how we I have this with the 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 neighborhood is semi destroyed, but all the bad guys are dead, and our heroes some survived, some didn't. Right? Yeah, you got to kill off some of the so, good guys. Yeah. So they're so a week later they're they're kind of picking up the pieces, and the fucking place is destroyed. And Chadwick then, Boseman dies. No, no, and then like ha, like one of them is like, how do we like the kids like how do we start to rebuild? Like, what do we do? And then somebody like starts sweeping out the store, and they're like, we can start here, and it's a Starbucks, you know. Ah! And then it's just <laughs> that's like, hilarious. You know, what, do, what, what, what do you, you have any thoughts? You have anything to throw in there for the, for the end when everything's already kind of torn apart? Yeah, well, how, well, how would you want to see this end? 
Well, Starbucks. with what we've got, Bill, I mean, my thought is kind of that, like, the people who are in our five points community would almost, at least the older people, they would be able to kind of thrive in this partially destroyed place, right? Because it's what they were kind of used to even before they got shoved into five points. Yeah. So I think I think it could just be this sort of like community, like rebuilding project kind of uplifted. But we got to keep some bad guys alive somewhere so that, you know, in the sequel, like... They're, they may be able to rebuild for a little bit, but then they're going to come back and try to tear it all down again and take right. it back. Cause, yeah, because you can't you know, bring down a whole you know, corporation in that one. Black, well, Black that's why it's kind of like Skynet. It's kind of like a Skynet <laughs> thing. It's like a constant war against like this corporation. Yeah, like no matter what, it's fate. You know, fate is... is you they're going to win some battles. They're going to lose some battles. Some people are going to die. But we got like 10 movies out of this. This is fucking great. I Black like Dawn Ten. I just I love yeah. those underdog stories and you know kind of somebody like a, like a gang of survivors just fighting back. You know, man, I fucking mm-hmm. love that stuff every time, and I think audiences would love it too. And I know Mister Hollywood's gonna love it. Yeah. If all the black love- if all the black people were gone, it, he'd love it more. <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah, he might want to change the ending. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think it should be a happier ending. The evil corporation wins, sir. I love it. It's wonderful. <laughs> Well, I would see black. I, I would see Black Dawn. I'd see the hell out of Black Dawn. Are you kidding? I would see Black Dawn. Oh, you think we say, we're safe with the title? It's a great title, Jason. But uh, you think? But we're it's safe? not really about black people anymore, is it? That's fine. Uh, yeah, that's so fine. is it Black? Do- is, is it Black Dawn for who? But it's cool because it means also it's the, like the you know the you know it's a new dawn, but it's a dark dawn. You know? Or what if what if the hero yeah, was a girl? Like, yeah. the, the hero was a woman, and her name was Dawn. Mm, and, no, and she's black. Mm-hmm. We really, really hit it on the nose right there. It's we, we, Dawn. We already did Paige Turner. And oh, was, God. About, uh, Taraji P. Henson is Black Dawn. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I guess you could make it an exploitation trailer. It's like, <coughs> have that one chick. This is Black Dawn, and she's going to save the world. So it's so our movie is, we're going with this. It's Black Dawn. Mm-hmm. It's about That's a, Black Dawn. It's about a community being kind of like gentrified out of their neighborhoods. And kind of sequestered into like a like a like a mall area, an abandoned shopping mall. Yeah, and, and our corporation, led by uh, Idris, Idris Elba, Elba. Ha- uh, goes against the um, the uh, the grassroots army, mm-hmm. led by um, Forrest Whitaker and uh, Pete Mar- Marshall Mar- Mar- Ali, Marshall Ali, Tarashi P Hansen, and the kid from Stranger Things, <laughs> from Stranger Things, Eleven. Chadwick What's Boseman. Chad Millie Bobby, Bobby Brown. Millie Bobby Brown. <laughs> so they, in order for them to fight back, they have to infiltrate the uh, the technology and, and the, the the resources of their of their uh, enemies. Yeah, and so they, yeah. So so that, so we have these cool scenes of them kind of like you know kind of going in, and we have these heist scenes of them stealing the weapons and tech. Yeah. So eventually, when they're when they're actually threatened and their mall is exploded. Fucking by Idris Elba, they they have no <laughs> choice with, but other than to go in t- and head them face head first into their own, own which causes a giant cataclysmic battle. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I guess Sam Jackson dies in the process. Our, our hero wins, but wait, but, could you could you also like could we build in because we brought up the kids right? So in yeah. five points, there's this kid. Maybe there's a kid with all the you know the aristocratic class. Maybe like somehow that kid on a tour of five points. They become friends. Like yeah. Oh, Ooh, okay. Well, yeah. Maybe, okay. That's good. Yeah. Maybe that kid could like backstab his father who runs like yeah. the big nation or something. Okay. I, don't know. I think that'd be cool. Too. What if that it's a girl? Cool. It's a girl. We also yeah. need it because we need to make toys. That's, yeah. No, that's really cool. But yeah, because yeah. like, yeah, you, I mean, you have the that new generation kind of understanding both sides. Like each each kind of each kid understands and learns about the other. Yeah. Side. Well, they say you know each, each, gener- <laughs> it's each, about learning. each generation yeah, becomes I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Each generation in America becomes more tolerant of each other. Like so, kids today are going to be. That's true. That's what happened tolerant. to this generation? Like we do know teachers that that kind of do say that these kids have more tolerance and understanding now than. Our f- other generations say our generations you know i think yeah. i think it's because kids growing up are seeing this is more about class than it is about race so that kind of yeah yeah, yeah. So it, it's and all the old people freaking out about race and, that, and that's not, essentially not what that's essentially what our movie's about it's about a class mm-hmm. yeah war rather than a, a kind of race thus making thing. it a post-apocalyptic film and oh, what? sorry that's how it is man you no, but this is I great do it that's fine this is, is cool. ghost dog really a part of this yes yes oh yeah our, our hero is ghost dog yeah he will never be referred to as forrest whitaker ever again <laughs> ghost starring dog. ghost dog 
Yeah. <laughs> and Ghost Dad, Bill Cosby. It's because it's because <laughs> it, it's because in the end, when they're when they're cleaning up there, when they're <laughs> <laughs> ghost ghost people, ghost people, <laughs> ghost world, ghosts. Yeah, instead of five points, they could refer to themselves as the ghosts. Yeah, Ooh. the ghosts. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you're. Th- I like ghost ghost Zank- ghost dad, ghost Oh my god, can we also do a scene like a Scooby Doo kind of thing where like they're projecting themselves in 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 the in the wealthy neighborhood as ghosts yeah it's like ooh. it's like a home alone in the thing like, <laughs> setting up traps right, home alone no, yeah. through entire city lucas, lucas from uh stranger things has like he's got a setup where he's like he's got posters of michael jordan and he's, like, <laughs> he's dancing so it looks like there's a lot of people well this the, film really needed that off the off the cuff kind of feel to it the home alone sequence where like so the army Elba. looks in the window and yeah. they're like no way we're outnumbered let's get out of here <laughs> lucas had to like pretend there was like do you 20. see all those ghosts i'm not dealing with ghosts we can't take them Oh, there's 20 of them. There's only two of us. <laughs> it's just no. a mirror reflection. It's like, oh. That doesn't happen in our movie. Uh, <laughs> let's put a pin in it. <laughs> All right. All right, right. Great. <laughs> well, <laughs> if, if the pitch is going horribly wrong to Mr. Hollywood, we'll save that. Yeah. Oh, right? I, was in home, I was in Home Alone 2. <laughs> I understand what you're saying. I approved that idea. I was in Home Alone 2. I had a secret. I had a cameo in the sequel i can't wait till we stop using donald trump as the reason why we do this Who's podcast that? uh I'm just no saying. one mentioned we're donald, mr hollywood we're yeah. talking about our boss mr. i know hollywood. Donald we trump know who we're been... all talking about now do i we? think if anything he's just gonna want a cameo in this movie well great you can do it you get the funding i just need a cameo <laughs> <laughs> wonderful 11 <laughs> billion jason all right so this is ghost on ghost on Ghost yeah. <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> this is ghost dad this is black dawn even black though it's not, even though it's not a black exploitation movie anymore but we're still, we can still I call know. it Black Dawn. We can still swing it. I think we still think swing so? the title. Though. You, I, do yeah. it the, do it, you do it in the trailer. You make it a very black exploitation trailer. I guess it's all about, yeah, it's all about how you market Presentation. it, right? Like yeah. A, it's yeah. A, oh, it's got to be like a Putney Swope type of a trailer where you think you're watching like a black exploitation movie. It even has to have like... And then like, it's, like, yeah. And then like okay. it's Mahersha Ali. You know, yeah. it's going to look like Red Dawn. I want to see him with Putney a fucking... Swope. I want to see him with a fucking rocket launcher in him. Yeah. Yeah. Just like Commando, like he comes out like fucking Commando. I want to see him dress as the Rocketeer. Mm, jetpacks, you're talking jet about. Jetpacks. Yeah. Is this the, the technology that? Uh, Dude, yeah, they gotta have that. The shit. Jetpacks. The, only in the five points mall do they have. Just that take tech. to the air, and then, <laughs> yeah, that's like the fucking. They 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 all come out with coats on, and then like that's their hidden. Well, thing. due to like, the fact that they are living in a mall, wouldn't they have access to stuff like sporting <laughs> sporting goods and like jet yeah, pa- actual jetpacks? The yeah, jetpack, I guess so. Jetpack. It's kind of like a rundown mall, so it depends on how much we want to run it down beforehand. Yeah, but the jetpack but store should couldn't. be the jetpack store should be fully uh, <laughs> there's operational. A, there's a jetpack store <laughs> thanks to the technology <laughs> created the by uh, IT crowd guy. Did right. we just make a Rocketeer sequel? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've been waiting for that. So I want to see. Also, could it be a mall that had a theater in it, so we could also have these like yeah. these propaganda films <laughs> yeah. from like the, uh, aristocrats? I yeah, like, yes. I like that. Why you can't go outside? I mean, you know, they spread a lot. That's I right. Like that's that. the only entertainment available. Are these uh, these like fucking like promo films for the na- neighborhoods? Kind of mm-hmm. like, yeah, uh-huh. that's, that's awesome. Good. And it's and all then, white people, and it's all boring shit. And, it's and all... then they watch Do the Right Thing. <laughs> Jason, well, I Pleasant- think Pleasantville. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no screen there, but there's just people acting out Star Wars, like in. Uh, oh, that's adorable. Rain of Fire. Remember? That only happens in one area of the Five Points Mall, though the poor area <laughs> that everyone else is like kind of ironically against. Yeah. They watch, though, they watch Scream 2. Over and over again. Yeah, over and over again. That's, <laughs> what? It's like the Spike Jones corner where you do like Be Kind Rewind, you know? Yeah, ah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. They're like acting out these things. I right, love that movie. Right. That's yeah. Michelle Gondry. We kind of love that movie, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Uh, cool. Jason. Jason. Yeah. awesome. Yeah, thanks so much, man. Uh, we're going to bring the laptop up with, with us, with you on it, up to Mr. Hollywood. And we're going to pitch this okay. thing. All we're right. going to pitch Black Dawn. Yeah. Yes. And then you get back to me? Yeah. No, you're coming with us. You're coming up with the pitch. Oh, you're okay. you're coming upstairs. You're going to be a talking head. We're going to take the cameras and the laptop. Yeah. We're going to Skype okay. in with Mr. Hollywood. Uh, and then uh, you have to do all the talking. Yeah, you're, do- you're taking the lead on this. That sounds we're, good. I think I'm prepared now. We're yeah. tired. We're going to take a nap. You got this. Okay. You got this. You got this. Yeah. You're we're going to just send the, you up on the elevator. <laughs> yeah. We have faith in you. Oh, yeah, we're just going to put the laptop in the elevator and then run away. You're on your own. Make us money. <laughs> Why is there a laptop in my elevator? You just had a scream pick me up. To see <laughs> how is there a little person on the screen? How is he in this box? How do, you fit him how in do I get him out? He's shaking the fucking laptop. Does he have a lower part of his body? <laughs> 
All and right. I put on Will's shirt to do it. Yes. Oh yes, yeah. You can. You hey, if you it. would like one, if you'd like one, I will send you one. <laughs> I will gladly take one of those. <laughs> Give Pete your address and I will send you a shirt. Tell That's me what's on. That's a handsome man on your t-shirt. Jason Zink, how good. how can people find out more about your project than what you do, man? So you know, good. they could they could follow us on all the lame stuff like Facebook and Instagram and um and all that. So, uh, with the Kickstarter and everything, I mean, if you just search Straight Edge Kegger or my name, it'll just start popping up stuff. We'll so. put some links in the description yeah. for the um cool. On iTunes and stuff like that, dude. Cool. Thank you so much, man. This was yeah. a blast, man. This I want to awesome. see this. Thank you guys movie. so much. Glad right. we came up with something last minute. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we're we're seasoned pros now. It's yeah. 70, seventy-two episodes. Who needs a week? Yeah, really. When you just think need about an it? hour, you yeah. just need a good just brains. An hour. You got the best brains. We got the best brains. We got the best words. The best brains, and we came up with it. This was great. Yeah. Great. Thank you, man. Thanks, guys. Thanks, it. dude. All right. You're welcome. Thanks for having me, man. Have fun upstairs. We'll talk to you. <laughs> yeah, see you later. Yeah. Hit the button. We'll talk to you next week, guys. We're going upstairs. Ding. I didn't, can't do that because it's on camera now. Wait, what song should we leave? Well, you got to, you got to, yeah, it, it, like it's off camera. You know, it's just there you go. No there we go. What song takes us out? Yeah, I don't know. What should we? Should we pick? Holiday a, Road, Gigi Allen song. What song should we listen to in the elevator? Garbage dump. Garbage dump. Mm, no. Is that appropriate for the for the movie? No, you not were? really. No. Mm. Um, we built this city. <laughs> there you go. All right. Jefferson Starships, we built this city on rock and roll. All right. <laughs> Talk to you next week, guys. Ciao, guys. Bye. Thanks, Jason. You've been listening to the Pitch It Movie Podcast. If you like what you've heard, do us a favor and subscribe to us on iTunes, SoundCloud, or on your favorite podcast app. And please don't forget to leave us a comment too. Listen and subscribe to the Pitch It Movie Podcast on your favorite podcast app to automatically get the latest episode every week for free.